Hey everyone, this is Kirk here again at OptionAlpha.com where we show you how to make smarter trades. And in today's video tutorial, I want to talk about how to adjust a put credit spread that you may be in or as some other people call it, a bullish put credit spread because you're originally directionally bullish on the underlying stock. So after selling a put credit spread below the market, let's say that the underlying stock starts to sell off towards your position and right this is the ultimate fear of most traders is that you enter this strategy it's a high probability of success and then the stock starts to sell off which is really testing your position because you don't make money as the stock falls so the question becomes how should we hedge or adjust this trade going forward well for simplicity in our example today let's just assume that you sold a one dollar wide spread for about 15 cents or 15 dollars at the 15 percent probability of being in the money level this also is about a 15 delta if your broker platform doesn't calculate probabilities so what we would do is after making this trade we would first be triggered to make an adjustment when the short strike of our strategy reaches a 13 or a 30 delta. Now again, we're trading it originally at a 15 delta, so we're basically saying that if the probability of losing on this trade doubles up to a 30 delta, then what we're going to do is we're going to adjust this position and make some sort of adjustment that reduces risk. So here's exactly what we would do. We would take that original put credit spread and we would sell a corresponding call credit spread on the other side of the market for additional credit. Now this is a little bit different than what some other companies and guys out there teach. Some other people teach that you want to roll down this put credit spread side, but we don't favor that. The reason that we don't favor that is because if you close out this position and roll down, you're first closing out a losing trade and banking a loss 100%. Then you're rolling the trade further down, but who's to say that the market can't keep falling towards your position? And so what you end up doing is just creating a situation where you could keep rolling down that put side and creating a compounding loss environment. So what we always say is you add the corresponding call credit side make sure that you match up both the width of the strikes. So in this case, if you are doing a dollar wide strike, you wanna do a dollar wide call credit spread and the number of contracts they are trading for no additional risk. And that's really, really important. So let's actually go to our broker platform here on Thinkorswim and let's actually do one of these trades. So let's say for example that you started off doing this trade uh, with a put credit spread below the market. So what we're doing here, this is DIA, which is the Dow Jones Industrial ETF and it currently closed today at about 176.40 so if we were to add a put credit spread below the market for March it's got about 56 days to go we could do it at the 15 delta or 15 percent probability of being in the money level which right now is about 161 so what we're going to do is we're going to sell the 161 160 credit put spread and we're going to take in about 15 cents in credit and again when the market opens this pricing is a little bit more towards the 15 cents because the market's closed it doesn't quite add up right now but believe me it is about 15 cents when the market's open so we're going to take in about 15 cents on this trade it's a very high probability of success trade if we've got about a 15 percent chance of losing on this trade that means we've got about an 80 percent chance of winning on this trade and again this is reflected in the profit and loss diagram you can see the stock is currently trading right about here and with our profit and loss diagram you can see that our break even points all the way out here towards 160 so as the stock starts to fall we only lose money if it goes beyond that point so it's a very high probability of success trade only about an 85 percent chance or only an 85 percent chance of winning about a 15 percent chance that it does breach that level and head lower but who's to say that it starts moving that direction you want to make an adjustment so again our trigger point is going to be the delta of this option which is currently about negative 13 but if we start to see that probability and delta get up closer to around 30 that means that our probability of losing has doubled and we're going to want to make an adjustment now what we always do when we add the other side to this trade is we want to add the other side at the original probability that we had set below the market so in this case we'll look to add the other side at about a 15 percent probability of being in the money or about a 15 delta as well so we'll try to match this up and try to take 
as even risk as we can on either side of the market. Again, we don't want to adjust this too close to the market. We want to be a little bit slower with our adjustments uh, going forward. So in this case, what we would do is we would sell the 183, 184 credit call spread above the market. Now you can see that takes in an additional 12 cents in, in premium. We want to make sure that the width of our strikes is exactly the same, which is $1, and it is. And we want to make sure that we're doing the same number of contracts on both sides, which is just a one lot spread. Now if we do this, you can see that this creates a new iron condor position. And basically what we're doing is taking a little bit of our profit potential up here above the market and we're cutting that off because the market's starting to challenge the bottom side of our trade. But as we did that and increased our credit that we received, we reduced our max loss on this trade. So we can no longer lose more money than our original position. In fact, there's no way we can lose more money than our original position. And it's all because we took in an additional credit on this trade. So that's exactly why we would continue to roll down this call side closer and closer and closer as the stock continues to fall. Now remember, with these put credit spread adjustments, you want to create a new iron condor position, and this helps both reduce overall loss and widen your break-even points on the trade, and more importantly, when you match up the number of contracts and the width of the strikes, you take no additional risk to make this adjustment, which means that you're only reducing risk when the market is not moving favorably towards your position. As always, I hope you guys really enjoy these videos. If you have any comments or questions, please ask them right below in the lesson page. And until next time, happy trading.